everybody. Welcome back to the Wilsons on Wilson. We are going to have a super fun day today. We're getting into the ditch witch, rocking out irrigation, and we're gonna have a whole bunch of fun and Brendan's family is coming over to help. So I'm pretty stoked. <laughs> Look at she's throwing weeds onto our beautiful. I'm so sorry. Hey, eat. Where did I have to walk in and fucking just for weeds? Okay. So, the first thing we're going to tackle here is basically getting the plants out of our way that we have to. Our irrigation is going to come along here. There's a couple big trees. So, we know that they're going to have large roots that are coming out and we don't really want to battle with that. So the first thing we're gonna do here is just dig up all of these little bitties that we planted last year so that we can have a clear shot to head out that way and irrigate the rest of our jazz. I missed you. I missed you so much. <laughs> yeah. We're gonna have a good time today. Katie, you know Brendan and Kirsty, do you? Okay. I don't think so, no. This is our this is Katie. We love her. Hello, hello, hello. This is Brendan and Kirsty. We love them. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna have a big fire today too, so we're gonna burn all the brush and stuff that we've got going from pruning all these trees. And what? <laughs> and we're making mulch out of the hardwood trees because I ordered a bunch of mushrooms. Oh, what? Yes, I ordered mushrooms. So the larger logs from the hardwood stuff that we prune, we're going to set aside so that we can drill holes and you put in like the mushroom plugs, right? And we're gonna hide them in the forest. And then, well, we won't be doing that today. The mushroom thing won't happen today, okay. but the, the preparations yeah. for it are happening today. And then we're gonna do all of the mulching of the branches and everything, and then those, chips are what we're gonna plant our, um, is it plant? Do you plant mushrooms? Inoculate mushrooms? I don't know. And if you see anything, okay, so this is a good thing. Yep. This is a good, this is good stuff. That's good stuff. This here yeah. is a lupin seed. Okay. So if you see these bitties, leave them. Leave them because we love them. We love them. Yes. I mean, isn't that the cutest little freaking seedling you've ever seen? I mean, it's pretty fun. Oh. Look at the way it's holding on to the dew right now. I know! <laughs> ah, makes me so happy. Another cool thing that it's time for right now is pinching some stuff back. It's actually way early in the season. I like I don't think I usually pinch my flocks and stuff back until probably April and May, but I mean, it's friggin' It's the end of March and it's happening. So with these guys here, if you leave, this is phlox, if you leave it to grow super tall, um, like you just leave it to do its thing naturally, it grows super tall and kind of lanky. It's beautiful, but it has a relatively shorter show period. If you actually come in here when they're about this tall and you just pinch these biddies back, they double out, they get way wider, they have longer bloom times, and you get way, way more blooms out of it. So what I usually do is, if it's a small little bit of it, I'll pinch it all back. If it's a large sec section of phlox, I will pinch the front of it and then let the back go because the back will come up first and show flowers and then the front will come up and double out and it'll actually give you different tiers of height to your flower production, which is super cool. You know what? I don't know what this is, but it looks, again, purposeful. <laughs> that is a phlox baby. Good job. Hey. Look at you what? identifying this little thing as important. Oh my gosh. I Kirsty. <laughs> Oh, I'm so, I'm so sorry. So much dirt. We did not think that through at all. So much dirt just flew in all of our all right. houses. Good job. Thank you. I'll place her somewhere. Good job. Hello. How are you? Happy birthday. Thank you. <laughs> nice to see you. Oh, nice to see you too. Yeah. So from basically here, 
We know we're safe to use the ditch witch and not gonna hit any main lines. So basically, we're gonna run this way and there's trees everywhere, you know? Oh, yeah. So, so the goal is we're gonna get all these branches out of our way and then we're just gonna try and head here. And if it takes out pieces of my garden bed, I'll f so be it. Yeah. But basically the line's gonna follow here. Yeah. We're gonna turn a corner and it's gonna go towards the greenhouses. There used to be buildings in here and he burnt them and we he used a tractor to pull the one right on top of the fire. Here on this property? Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah, that was, that, was a, that was in the 70s. Man, it less looks so different from when you were here last then. Oh, yeah, yeah. All right, I need a hug out of you too. How's it going? Good, how are you? <laughs> good. Oh, good to see you. Thanks for coming to visit. Absolutely. I can't wait to go for a pot. Oh, all the fun. Is that what I sound like no, in your head? Oh my goodness! <laughs> the rare plant of the Isles of Hudaha. <laughs> A good dose of uh, blue team will move this rock. Yeah, good, good, hearty dose of blue team. So, if we want. I can even get you the little bitty chainsaw mm -hmm. and you could just start like zippity 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 sure. with these yeah. and then we can get them moving. If you want to just cut up some of these smaller sections so they're easier to pull. Okay, now that we have the boys here, we need to move this rock. Where do you want it? Out of the Just way. Out of the way. About irrigation, about ditch twitching. Like, I mean, I can do some of it too, right? So you want me to do more? Well, I just want to have a conversation because that went really fast. <laughs> so the conversation before, <laughs> if your back hurts, we don't have to. No, if you feel like that's enough. What do you want? Enough, what do you want? Let's go. So the conversation was originally to have this line come to the circle, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. So. Because this only took a frickin', you whipped through that. We could continue this line to the circle like we wanted and then do that and then have the tote, the, the gravity feed for that garden and then the gravity feed for the raspberries and not have to worry about the gravity feed for the... Circle? Circle? Yeah, because that would be good if you put a line from here. Yeah, that was the goal originally, but then we thought it was gonna take two days and so we were like, oh, let's downsize what we're doing like let's think smaller but like pfft, yeah that... just put a t in the line right here and yeah exactly that's what we were thinking i'd say probably here somewhere i don't preferably have to mow yeah exactly so the yeah. hose bib would most likely be here because then i can't mow but i have to be pull out the weed eater because and i don't want to do that <laughs> every time i a cody quit fucking with me uh -uh. Are you ready? The hose bib would be here because we need to have a line that follows these blueberries and then we'll just dig a little bit, like a little just hand dig here. So basically we'll have a like a hose bib kind of thing there, right? So that we can do that shit. Then we'll have one here so we can do this stuff. And then we'll have a 
an upper and a bib there. For and the then we'll take Yes. Well, greenhouses and tomatoes. That would be a, yeah, But this whole... these tomatoes could be gravity fed along with the tote there cuz there's going to be dahlias all along there. So we're still kind of playing around with that idea whether or not the water comes from there or there. That's all we need to dig, so I that's think fine. Your idea of putting one from here. And yeah. It to your edge here. Exactly. So bringing it to the circle so that we can irrigate the circle here would be ideal. Like whatever's going to water these raspberries. Is there a bear? Oh, yeah. Here, here. What happened to your face? What? The redness? Oh, was that just your hat? Your hat is, your hat is too tight. It is partway through our day. We just had lunch and now we're going to finish our ditch witching. We have an amazing crew here today, so I think we're going to get tons accomplished. We're going to get to it and uh, let's see what we get up to. Let's go check out what Cody's doing in the back of the property because I think he's about to have fun with flames, which let's be real, everyone loves a good fire. So let's go see what Cody's up to. Stick a camera in his face, get that footage. How long have you been wanting to burn this pile for? For a while, a few weeks, <laughs> definitely a few weeks. I'm glad we waited though, because there's a bunch of stuff that needed to come into it anyway. There's a bunch of stuff over there that's gonna come over here. Trees that we took down and limbed, I guess. Yeah, I'm gonna move that truck. I am planting more peas. So there is a box just over there that has our snap peas that are just good for munching. And these are our shelling peas. And uh, yeah, those ones we started, we just direct, I just direct sowed them in there. Uh, and then these ones I did in the soil blocks just to kind of see which would you know, be happier. And I did them at the same time. Mind you, this one is in the greenhouse, like the enclosed super toasty greenhouse. But these ones clearly took off a lot quicker than those guys. And look at this, how cool is soil blocking? So you can see the soil blocks just break open like this. So it's it out, it's it out. Oh shit, oh shit. <laughs> Can't do that. On today's episode of What Not To Do, so is it is it the way you plant them? Like I'm, I'm not quite understanding how you get that square. Like is it a? So I can show you uh, when we if we want to go check it out in the barn after. Yeah, for but sure. basically, it's just like it's like a, a metal rectangle and it has slots in it okay. and a handle. Right. So you get the soil super moist and then you push all of the soil into it so okay. that it's like really compact. Okay. And then it has these little dibbers of where your seeds will go and there's different sizes and stuff. And then you push it into the tray and you pull the trigger. And when you pull the trigger, it's compacting that soil even more. And then you just pull up. 
and it leaves you these perfect blocks of soil. And they stay like that yes. while they're growing. Yes. And, and then, it, of course, there's all your moisture and everything. Exactly. So it's not like tiny little cells that dry out. Like sometimes those 72 cell trays, yes. I have to water them multiple times a day. Yes. It's a headache. Yes. It's an absolute headache. Yes. This makes more sense. And so this here, it's like sometimes I don't even have to like every couple days I would have to water this tray. When I start the seeds, I spray them lightly on top just to keep the top moist where the seed is. But then after that, it's like you barely have to water them in comparison. So it cuts down on water usage, cuts down on plastic usage, and it air prunes the roots and allows it to kind of like grow in a different way. Whereas with those cells, the roots can get bound up and tight so fast. Yeah. Yeah. All of these things here that you see popping up are volunteers. This is planted. Right. This was specifically planted. I planted lettuce all in here, and these greens that are popping up are from last year's. Em, can you describe what a volunteer is? Um, oh, okay, so I would call a volunteer basically anything that's like gone to seed and it's like a freebie. You know, it's like, you didn't have to plant it. You didn't have to sow it. A plant has gone to seed, you know, or sometimes also seeds will lie dormant. So if like I seeded, we seeded, we seeded this stuff here, Kirsty, last year. And a lot of it grew up and we got to harvest it, but some of it, it was so late in the season that I think it laid dormant. And uh, so now it's just come back this year. I didn't have to do anything. It just volunteered itself to exist. Like we have volunteer kale all over the place. It's been coming up for years. Okay, so I think that's it for the day. Um, God, we got so much done and it was so beautiful. We got to use the ditch witch and get all of our trenches dug. We got stuff planted in the greenhouse. We got our yard cleaned up. So we got to chop up all of that wood from all the pruning that we'd done and put it on the fire. I mean, we got so much done today and had so many laughs and so much fun, which is just my favorite way to spend a Saturday. So 